Big Tractor Power is here at the 2019 National Farm Machinery Show. We're taking a look at some of the Agco products. We're here with Larry Custer, who is a product specialist for seeding and tillage at Agco. And we're going to take a look at the new white corn planter that's on display. Larry, what can you tell us about the updated model for 2019? Well, uh, since 2015, Jason, we've, uh, we've been featuring some of the precision equipment on, on the white planters. Uh, for 2019 now, we've um, actually expanded the line. Um, might seem a little strange, but we're offering uh, toolbars less uh, equipment so that they're more readily uh, able to customize the planter for uh, a, a precision customer. So a dealer can order a planter in less harnessing, less meters, less uh, a lot of the monitor system, for example, and build exactly what the farmer wants. And what row sizes are available now in that, that range of products? Or how many, you know, is it six row up to 36 rows, or what, what is this uh, set up for? The, the models, uh, model range for uh, customizing with the precision um, really starts at the 12 row stack fold frame. Okay. And goes all the way up to the uh, to the 90 foot bar, the 36 row. So dealers like that because uh, well, the, the history of the planters and precision in this business. Uh, if a customer bought uh, a planter from from uh, from White or one of the competitors, they were looking at taking meters and things off to put the precision equipment on. So they were buying stuff that they they weren't going to use. So this VER, which is vacuum electric ready, you look at this 9800 behind me, that's a 9800 VE. The VE means just that, vacuum, vacuum, excuse me, but vacuum electric. So that's our model designation, and the R on that just means that it's ready for that vacuum electric equipment. So what kind of uh, capacity, uh, we're looking at the central fill tank back here, what kind of capacity does this planter offer? Uh, well, the 9800 series, um, the central fill is 245 bushel uh, hoppers. Um, you can get it with fertilizer. Uh, with the central fill, the 12 row is a 300 gallon tank. The 16 and 24 rows uh, with central fill is 500. Or you can get the unit without central fill and go into a box, individual box on each row. And then uh, the fertilizer option is a 750 gallon uh, tank uh, frame on it. So. In the industry, this is one of the larger uh, capacities that we have with liquid onboard liquid fertilizer. Now in the track bar, we've got uh, a capability of 1,500 gallons of, uh, of liquid fertilizer. So and that, that track bar, that handles the, the 90 foot and the 60 that's, foot that's size? The, that's the large frame, yes. Okay. So up to 36 row currently with the, uh, the track frame. So Larry, when we're talking about precision planning, you know, a lot of times as a tractor and machinery fan, I'm looking at the iron, but there's a lot going on that makes this iron very efficient. So what can you tell us about your features? Well, the precision equipment that, that we offer is, is factory installed. Um, Agco now owns precision planting, uh, one of the uh, Agco uh, family companies. So a lot of customers think that, oh, I, I can get everything uh, that Precision has on my white planter from the factory, and that's, that's truly not the case. Um, the uh, Precision equipment that's available on the white planter from the factory, of course, is the monitor system, which is now the, uh, the Series 3 2020 seat sense system. The V-Set, V-Drive uh, meter system is uh, factory installed uh, at, uh, at our facility in Beloit. The speed tube is also factory installed um, from white, and the as well as the uh, Delta Force system, uh, automatic downforce system is available. So that's from kind the of what when you're doing no-till, you want to really push down in. You've you got want, that, or you want Delta Force on your planter, uh, whether you're doing no-till or or uh, full tillage program. What Delta Force does is it ensures that the planter is always planting at the um, prescribed depth. So if, if you've got moisture and, and uh, soil temperature at two inches deep, the machine will always make certain that that seed is at two inches of depth. And it will control the gauge wheel weight so that you're not putting too much pressure and creating sidewall compaction. Now when I say a full 
uh, tillage program if you're in very light soil and you're looking at a target of 70, say 75 pounds of gauge wheel weight on the, uh, on the seed profile. The row unit weighs well over 200 pounds. This system will actually take weight off of the, will lift up the row unit, taking weight off it to maintain that, that uh, predetermined gauge wheel weight. Okay. So in that aspect, it doesn't matter if it's no-till or conventional tillage, uh, Delta Force is going to uh, produce a very good return on, on investment. So other things that are on this board that are available through Precision is like their V-Flow HD, which controls the liquid product, uh, say, um, liquid fertilizer. Um, another thing that um, is on the board uh, that we do have available from the factory is the uh, insecticide meter. But uh, this is a good example of the SRM, the single row module that controls all these things and then feeds that information back to the monitor. So our, our customer sets the metrics, what he wants the, the planter to do. This relays the metrics to the meter, to, to the seed tube, to the delta force, that these are the things we have to do to accomplish what our operator set and then returns this information back in real time telling you that yes, everything is, is, uh, is happening as, as it should. For example, this is the, the metric for the uh, smart firmer. Well, someday the smart firmer will be available as factory installed equipment on a white planter, okay. but today that is not the case. But so you can see I'm, I'm changing the temperature I'm changing the soil temperature just by holding my hand on the smart firmer. And I don't know that I can change the uh, organic matter, but uh, it's reading right now 3.60% organic matter. The optics on here will, will tell us if uh, we have material in the furrow. So if uh, our row cleaners are not uh, operating as they should and we're, we're getting residue in the furrow which can interfere with uh, moisture and, and uh, warmth uptake by the, by the seed. So like where I live in Kentucky we do double crop soybeans mm -hmm. so if you're getting straw or trash down in there on top of the seed yes, it's going to alert the operator. From, from getting the, the temperature mm -hmm. needs and what it will do is of course just delay the uh, germination and, and emergence. So all those metrics and you can move through is, uh, and uh, pull stuff up as, as you want population. You can pick up uh, row details. and Like this right now, we've got a two row planter and only actually one row. Sure. We have one meter on here, but uh, you pull up uh, by row and uh, population, singulation. Uh, you can monitor your insecticide and you can bring all that information in, in by row. So the, the beauty of the system is that it's all done in real time. And when everything is working well, the, the face of the screen is green. And as conditions uh, deteriorate, you'll start seeing that turn to yellow. And uh, you'll get a, a red when the situation is uh, needing so immediate attention. So If you're out there trying to push it in the spring, you start to get a little drizzle, but the ground still dry, is it going to alert you to like, say, all right, now this is the time to stop planning, um, or you're not getting the results no, you want? It, it's probably going to be the tires that tell you okay, that. Okay, so. sure. <laughs> but, uh, it will tell you though that uh, if, if uh, the soil is cooling off mm -hmm. and we're not in our optimum soil temperature again, or if uh, somebody overworked the ground ahead of you with a field cultivator or something mm -hmm. and dried it out, we're losing our soil moisture. Those kind of things are, are uh, information that's okay. conveyed by smart firm. Uh, this can also map those conditions that it monitored out there create a map telling you where your higher organic matter uh, percentages are in the field and uh, of course then that can drive the population and something even the uh, variety. This apparatus here is called MSET. This too is available through precision uh, not through uh, through the white planter factory installed yet but it's it's a, a switch that goes from one variety one hopper to the other hopper It okay. can change uh, so you can have dual varieties on board and uh, the organic matter then can determine which type, if it's uh, 
a more aggressive variety or a more defensive. Variety. So if you're in a field that kind of rolls, maybe one variety on the hills yeah, and then one changes. one in the dips and the low spots. Yep, yeah. and uh, you can that can all be pre-programmed. So you could have an operator uh, that is you know, maybe not that skilled, and the system will will read that. You set the parameters, and at 3.5 and above, I want this variety, and it will be planting that. And if it falls below that 3.5, it'll go to the more defensive variety, and it'll be planting that. Oh, that's some amazing technology. It is. There's a lot, really lot going on with these planters. This smart firmer, yeah. I, I foresee this being just a standard feature on planters in the, point yep. in the future. It I, would just be so commonplace. I can't imagine why you wouldn't want yeah, it after seeing that. It would be so commonplace that, uh, that it just could be there. People demand it. Larry, we've looked at the technology. We've kind of looked at the input side of it with the commodity tank and the fertilizer. Can you tell us about the row unit? This is kind of where the rubber meets the road. It exactly is. This is our, our 9000 series row unit. Uh, we introduced this about five years ago in, uh, with the 9800 series uh, planters, the first one being the 9812. But it's an all-cast row unit. Um, it has got some unique features in it. Uh, one is the, the depth setting. It's very positive, and you can see that the uh, increments are, are casted right into the, uh, to the part. So by changing the, the depth, um, What's unique about this row unit is that it can be recalibrated. So the blade starting out at, at 16 inches in diameter, as the unit um, is operated, of course, the, the blade is going to be one of the wear items. And as that diameter changes, it's also going to affect your depth. So setting it at two inches here with a worn blade, that blade is not really going to be planting at two inches deep. So what has to happen is we need to recalibrate and we recalibrate with this adjustment bolt right here by placing the row unit on top of two 2x4s. Two so we put a 2x4 under this side and a 2x4 under this gauge wheel and adjust the row unit down with this nut until it bottoms out. So now a 2x4 one time was full 2 inches, a 2x4 is an inch and a half. So if we had set our depth setting at one and a half inches, right there, two by four under each side, adjust that down to where it bottoms out, and we're exactly at one and a half inches again. So this gauge is back being accurate. Okay. So the nice thing about it is on the white planter, you can do that without having to buy new parts or tear the unit apart to accomplish that. It's that simple Just and it's that accurate. Easy adjustment. So what, what kind of uh, planting speeds do, does the white planter achieve? Um, as this unit is set up, it's, it, this is the, uh, would be the conventional, if you will. Uh, it's got the, the precision V-set, V-drive um, meter system on it. It's a vacuum system. Uh, this is equipped with Delta Force. And the seed tube that's in this one, I think this has got the wave vision in it. I haven't torn one apart, but I, I know it, it does not have the speed tube in it. So this planter is going to be operating anywhere from more than likely four and a half to five and a half miles an hour. Some people might push it a little bit more than that. But so if you put the speed tube in, how fast will the speed it Speed tube, uh, it, 10 miles an hour is easily uh, attained with, with speed tube. The thing about speed tube is, as accurate as the precision planting equipment uh, makes the planter. It, it averages at 99.6% accuracy for singulation and spacing, and which is, that's their baseline. If they don't do 99.5, they feel that's a, a disaster. If it's that's a good baseline that, to have. That's, that's a heck of a baseline. You know, you I got, was, you got one that, shot at getting it right, yeah. so. And that's their philosophy. But, so the planter itself, the accuracy is, is superb. What the speed tube does is maintains all those high accurate numbers at speeds double conventional planting speed. So the secret to the speed tube is it physically takes the seed off the disc, seed disc, delivers it at a match speed to ground speed, 
and when it releases the seed, it's negated the forward momentum of the planter. So it just drops it and it just stops. Hmm. There's no forward roll, there's no bounce to it. So our, our spacing is maintained. And uh, at the SRI, the seed release index, is what they call it. So that our, our, our spacing is, is, uh, is perfect as can be. Well, it's an impressive planter. I always like seeing these out in the field and uh, you know, it's just amazing what this technology is allowing. I mean, I imagine if you're running a 16 row planter at 10 miles per hour with that speed tube, you can get more done probably than you would with a 60 foot toolbar. Uh, it, it, it's, it truly is. I mean, it's the situation is that every, no matter where we are in, in, in North America, there's an optimum planting window for whatever crop it might be. And um, for corn, you know, say this part of the world, it's, you know, it's sometime in April to sometime in um, going towards May, you get like a two week window that is, if you can get it planted then, the other stages of development, um, silking and, and um, other uh, points of development of that crop can hit weather patterns that are more favorable than, than not. So. You know, maybe you're not in uh, the super hot temperatures of August. If you can get that done before those hot temperatures, right. it's better for the crop. So there's that, that optimum planting window, and, and what the speed tube allows you to do is get more acres planted in that window. So instead of a, a long day at five miles an hour, you can have a long day at 10 miles an hour and get a lot more crop in the ground. Right. So, when people look at these planters, they're, they're amazed at it's just the, the, the cleanliness, if you will, the neatness of them. And it, it, it's kind of amazing because we're, we're selling them a planter that is so much more efficient, but there's less hardware here than we ever had before. So we don't have a transmission, we don't have chains and sprockets and, or hydraulic hoses driving orbit motors and all that kind of stuff. So it's with the electric drive and that is just very simple, clean, and uh, very less, easy. Less to go wrong and less more acres covered. Less to go wrong and, and a lot less to maintain. Well, Larry, thank you for your time, and uh, these are impressive machines. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks.